hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel omwendo enoko of course this is channel number one on matters disability welcome to today's episode na leo sina mambo mingi today i want to talk to kra on issues concerning tax exemption certificate and uh before we start kindly new members subscribe to our youtube channel and returning viewers welcome welcome back welcome again for always coming and watching our videos without much ado let me take you to what we need to talk about today um as i told you today i wanted to talk about uh tax exemption certificate and uh, specifically i want to address kenya revenue authority kra uh, as all, as all all of us we know that uh in this channel we have talked about tax exemption certificate on uh, the issue on on persons with disabilities we all know that uh, a person with disabilities is entitled to tax exemption certificate uh this is in public domain and uh, i i remember i talked about a certain video on how you are supposed to apply for tax exemption certificate uh, i gave you the process of uh, you know going for the tax exemption certificate if you have not watched that video you can refer go and uh, follow and uh, watch those videos in my uh, youtube channel you'll get them there on how to apply for tax exemption certificate uh, but today i specifically want to address uh, kra because we all know in that channel i talked about how one is supposed to apply for tax exemption certificate and uh, we said that uh, exemption certificate it is a very tedious uh, process a very tedious procedure uh, because you need to go and uh, be assessed by the doctor you go you fill the form you go to the employer you written a letter to the employer the employer will do a letter to you you will go take that uh, those all those documents to kenya uh, the, the, the national council for persons with disabilities and then you will wait for vetting you will go to you will go undergo vetting you know it will take time to take time before you get your tax exemption certificate you could have hassled eh for a long time now it's not a it's not the best process and uh, i don't think actually most of the people have not even gone for tax exemption certificate because of that tedious process tedious process and uh, na that notwithstanding uh, imagine you need to renew this tax exemption certificate and that is what i want to talk about kindly watch this video to the end so that you'll get the content um you'll have to go and renew this certificate do you know that this certificate expires after five years if you didn't know this then i've told you that you need to renew the tax exemption certificate after five years so imagine all those tedious process eh? that tedious process you'll have to repeat it after five years how tedious is it so um today i want to address kra kenya revenue authority wherever you are these things of renewing tax exemption certificate i don't know why we you said this guidelines of renewing tax exemption certificates while somebody's you know has gone undergone and imagine you'll have to go the same 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 process that you went when you are applying for your tax exemption certificate when you go when you received your first tax exemption certificate when you are renew you'll repeat the same process you'll go to the hospital attach a medical report you'll be assessed you fill the form you'll be written a letter so you what you address KRA commission you do every, everything that is required for somebody to if you, if you don't know you can go to that video and watch you go to and you undergo the same process for you to renew tax exemption certificate i didn't know that you know it is very tedious and it's totally unfair to persons with disabilities i don't see why you know i've started now addressing KRA i don't see why you want to renew somebody's tax exemption certificate and yet this person the doctor has written permanent disability it is not temporary disability it is permanent disability somebody has no even eyeballs if he is somebody who is visually impaired somebody who is um, an amputee 
mkono wake imekatika hana hii mkono there is no miracle will happen until Jesus Christ comes the second time for those who are believers when Jesus Christ will come the second time that is the time that utarudi kule juu na mkono ita, miracle itafanyika na mguu ipone mkono ipone mguu ile imelema ipone kama ni macho yale ambayo hana eyeballs yaone why why should you take somebody for a, a, a process yenye and I repeat the same process at see if this person will you know will gain his sight back yeah? somebody has no eyeballs eh daktari amedeclare disability 100% ama amedeclare disability 50% 40% na tena akasema permanent disability why should you take this person back to you know to go under the new tax exemption certificate and yet this is a person who is as who has been pronounced by the doctor that he has permanent disability or she has permanent disability i i thought that you you need to do this renewal for those ones who are temporal wale ambao wameandikwa because i understand to kuna categories mbili permanent disability and temporary disability yule ambaye amepata accident na maybe anaendelea ku take care of daktari nini maybe with the time huyu mtu atapona na atarudi to his or her normal life this is the person who is supposed to undergo Uh, the same process and uh, actually it's not supposed to be like that you you are only needed to have a report from the doctor why why should i go to the same process in just a form if i'm only giving you know i'm giving my 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 opinion if this person has a disability number one it is the doctor has written temporal i th- i thought or i think what care you need to do is give him a temporal tax exemption certificate then after some time you will send him back to the doctor so that he can go and assess him or her to see whether he still qualifies for tax exemption and if he qualifies you still give him still a temporal ta- tax exemption certificate but going undergoing for only medical assessment not all these other processes are applied and 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 if somebody has been pronounced by the by 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 uh, the doctor that he or she has a permanent disability why why should you subject him again to undergo the same process at the tenor end could renew why should somebody renew the, the, the tax exemption certificate the only need, thing you need to do is we must to pay but exemption certificate yenye ni in run back wakati ule ata ata you know is going to retire if somebody if if if, if, if he or she works with the uh, is uh, is employed eh? whether private or, pub, or, or public umpatie so that he read kwa sleep yake kama si, si sleep zile tu wanyo tuna receive the sleep tunajua ina ina expire lini and for a person with disabilities if you didn't know you supposed to be given five years more if because in Kenya somebody is supposed to retire at 60 so for a pwd person with disability he will retire at 65 so you will just give him until he reaches 65 years and exit service na hiyo exemption in expire that is how it's supposed to be and if it is a businessman and you have confirmed that this person is a person with a disability you give him that ana run biashara yake bora anarudisha returns na na kila mwaka anarudisha returns zero, zero, zero returns for a person with disabilities why should you tell him subject him to, to renew the certificate again and yet this person has been pronounced to be a, to, ha, to be having a permanent disability so i don't see any sense it doesn't make any sense for to subject somebody to the same tedious process the same exercise and yet this person will never see in his life if he is a person with visual impairment will never walk properly if he is a person with visco impairment he will never hear if he is a person with hearing impairment why why should you subject him to go to undergo the same process i you should give him once and for all the certificate tax exemption certificate once and for all and that is all the end of the road and even when it comes to uh, i'll talk about the duty free car uh, today i just wanted to talk about tax exemption certificate i'll also talk about the duty free because it's another problem uh, KRA, you are giving people hell of problem when it comes to importing of vehicles but i'll talk about that later today i just wanted to talk about tax exemption so KRA, i just give you ample request this is a cry not from me but a cry from various uh, people of Uh, people with disabilities in Kenya they have had these complaints every now and then they have complained we even had some we were even adjusting uh, some article so that it can you know it can be removed the issue of renewal 
So Kare, I just want to tell you, I just give you humble opinion that let's just go and look, uh, go back to the drawing board uh, and uh, refer and uh, review your policies on the issue of tax exemption certificate. Let it be, if it is not permanent disability, let it be equal indefinite as in until person retired from service and if it is temporal mpatie lakini ana renew after amechukua ameenda for medical checkup peke yake hizi vitu zingine process zingine waachana nazo otherwise thank you very much if you have liked this video just if you have loved this video just like it and uh, comment if you feel that you have the same sentiments just give your humble comment your humble opinion your 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 your, your opinion on the issue of tax exemption and if you you have been affected as a person with disability and you feel that you need to share these sentiments just go to the comment section just give a comment and please give it a like and if you have not subscribed just hit that subscription button we meet in the next video bye bye